Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. So it's Saturday. I'm on Facebook getting some news, sharing some news, you know, just being me, chilling out a little bit. And then all stop right here. I see the word justice. That's an all stop for me. And then I see on top of it the word marijuana. You know I'm backpedaling now to see what? what? Okay, this man, uh, already 20 years in prison for the possession of marijuana in Missouri. Life without parole. Uh, no. No, not on my watch. Um, so there is a Facebook page, and I want to note here that Obama had already commuted the life sentences of six nonviolent drug offenders. The website that you saw in the photo, Justice uh, on the Justice for Jeff page, guys, go ahead and read through this. Um, I think I've said enough for you to act on this. Um, but anyway, I don't ask you to do anything I'm not willing to do. We're going to give this man a call, the governor, in one moment. I've already got the number loaded up in Gmail, but I want to just do a little math with you before we call him, all right, so that you're more likely to. This is only going back to 2010. If we say Jeff has been there 20 years, we're looking at a start in 93. I just pulled this up. I went back a ways and go back because I want to show you the cost. Okay? And if we take $680.5 million and divide it by the average daily population of 30,447, we come up with this number right here. 22,350 point all this shit. So now let's multiply that if we could real quick by the 20 years we know Jeff has already been there so that you know what you paid for this and I don't want to hear but I don't live in Missouri because when states don't have enough money it comes from the federal government which comes from you and let me remind you you Bible thumping bastards and not all of you that that are religious are bastards I'm not saying that I'm talking to you the ones that say God gave to man every seed bearing plant but you're willing to pay what amount to keep this man in jail? What is this number right here? Already a half a million dollars. A half a million dollars for a plant that came from the earth that you swore God gave to you. Bullshit. Not on my watch. Not to my brother, not in my nation, not on this goddamn planet. No, absolutely not. And I'm sorry for the foul language, but if I hear one of you not swearing right now, then you're still asleep, and you're still not angry enough to make any changes that are going to affect anybody for the good. Now, God damn it! Thank you, there's my rant. Now, settle down, Kevin. Let's give the governor a call. You can confirm the number, 573-751-3222, 573-751-3222. I know, it's the weekend. You're not going to get anything but a voicemail. Let's send him thousands of voicemails. That's my opinion. If that doesn't work, we'll fax the shit out of him next. Hello, you've reached Governor Nixon's office. Our hours are from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. If you'd like to leave a message for anyone on our staff, please do so at this time. Thank you. You may start your message now. Governor Nixon, my name is Kevin Allen from the state of Maine. I've come across the information that you've already spent over a, uh, close to a half a million dollars to keep a man in prison for 20 years for possessing a plant that grew from the earth. Not on my watch, sir. Not on my watch, not in my country. And if you want to rebut me by saying that you don't live in the state, you don't pay the taxes here, bullshit. Taxes are paid to the federal government. When the states need money, they get it from the federal government. I am paying your taxes, sir. I would expect many others in my large social network to be calling you as well. I demand that you set Jeffrey free immediately. Not tomorrow. Not the next day. Not the day after that. As soon as you get this message. And because of 
the people that connect with me online, they will be watching to see what you do next. What they do, if you don't meet our requests, I, I have no control over. But I would expect them. Thank you. Have a blessed day. And I'd set Jeffrey free real quick if I were you. Anyway, I've had enough. I'm not going to tolerate it. I'm not going to tolerate you not tolerating it either. If I have to swear to get you off your ass, I apologize. For the young children, don't let your world and your government bring you to the point that you have to swear to help somebody. Because that's not what we're supposed to be doing. Unfortunately, it's what we have to be doing. Much love. Many, many thanks. And I'll see you soon. All the links will be below. You've got to put your body upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers.